My, my mom used to tell me that when <laughs> I was one year old when uh, we won the 95 World Cup and I was sitting and watching. And when we won, I just started crying because everybody was making such a big noise. Of course, loved the game growing up. Then I saw this, and if you want to really make something of yourself playing rugby, you got to commit fully, you know. So I decided this is the way I want to go. I know it's not that easy, and not a lot of guys are privileged to, to have a, a career in rugby. It started off very smooth and unbelievably exciting. What a remarkable footballer. My first three years was just you're in this cloud and you almost lose connection with reality, you know, because you just, everything is just going well. And to see this young man, the complete package, Andre Pollard, junior World Cup player of the year. You're playing in a World Cup, you're 21 years old. It's just an unbelievable ride you're on. And then something like those injuries come across your path. I came back from Japan with a shoulder and then I, we actually cleared the shoulder. We said, it's fine, we can, we can carry on training. And then after a week of training, I tore my ACL, my knee. So, of course, that's a nine month injury. So, I went in for the knee op. And then two weeks after the knee op, I said, listen, guys, let's just fix the shoulder. We've got time now. Six weeks later, I told this guy, listen, it's, it's, it shouldn't be this sore. It's, I know it should be sore, but it's, <laughs> it's a bit too sore, you know. There was um, septicemia. One in 20,000 people just unlucky get it. Once it's it spreads, and then it's when it really gets dangerous. People lose their lives. You lie in hospital for six weeks. You have more than enough time to think about not just rugby, but life in general. And um, you get to know who's really your mates and who's people that really care about you. I'm a firm believer of it's, there's a reason for everything. And uh, I mean, I was out for about 13, 14 months, you know, so it's quite a bit of time to reflect. And uh, I've just appreciated every moment, every second I could spend with the Springboks and with my mates. Um, doing what I love at that level, it's just an absolute privilege and it's a, it's a great honor. So I really enjoy and cherish those moments so much more these days.